Alrighty, we got the skid loader out here. There's a storage container that we had delivered. I'm taking out this fence right now. And then we'll pull the posts. And I'm gonna mow kind of all this. I think that was ragweed, giant ragweed. Get that all mowed up and we'll get her set up on some blocks. It's windy out here today. Every time I come out here, it's winter and heck. So, I'm trying to beat the rain. Won't be able to take much video. Look at that over there. Interesting, never, never done this before, so. Kind of got a nice straight shot into here now. It was really hard maneuvering this around. Um, it was just really, really wet. Even though, even with the the track skid loader, it was slipping and sliding. Put two blocks on the front here. People say you want to put it up on the blocks and get it off the ground to prevent the sweating, so it has enough uh, airflow down underneath. And they say that all the weight sits on the four corners when it's shipping. So all you need to do is put the blocks on the four corners because the, I mean, 7,200 or 72,000 pounds there. It's a lot more than we'd ever put in there. Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. What? Put it down. Oh, it's ready. I had to build up that corner a little bit more. Let's see how it does. All right, Amy suggested throwing in the level. Look at that. That's crazy. How's that side? I see the intolerance. Plus, I think Oh, wow. Yeah, like I said, this side over here just needed to be raised like slightly. Just by eyeballing it on the outside, but that's pretty dang close. What do you think? Well, now we need to level that. 
get this stuff stuck here under Yeah, I'm gonna peel off this ridge a little bit more. Then I've got that pile of uh, rock over there. Okay. Can you bring a scoop of gravel? Yep. rock underneath here that way it'll be a little bit more level hopefully I had a little bit of extra rock left from the driveway project I actually need to have another load probably dropped off here and get this all on gravel